Ah, uh, that was bad. I did, wasn't supposed to do that. I don't think I've really played too much Kaizo stuff that I've had a great time with recently. And so hopefully this is going to change things slightly. It's Sauna Mario World, and it's a uh, someone's first hack that is an intermediate hack. And it's Pinaha, who, you know, as you can imagine, they just have a submission. They, they do have a 1.2 in waiting, and that's the one that I'm playing, because this I believe this one, they have some comments about some things bro being broken or something. Anyway, 15 exit intermediate, and it's my first hack. Uh, a few item tricks, obstacles that aren't very tight, and it ended up being around intermediate difficulty. Tried their best to keep the obstacles fair, fun, and easily readable as possible. Um, there's a limited amount of chocolate mechanics, and they're basically things you've seen or edited vanilla sprites. No invisible coin blocks. No secret exits or switch palaces, and there's some secret portrait rooms, and a trailer in case you're interested. Uh, lots of screenshots. We love to see lots of screenshots. This is cool. I guess this is a sprite killer, but... Or is it? I, I don't know what that is. Uh, we'll, we'll probably find out. Like, let's think about that. I don't know what that is. Is that a propeller block? Bad news, if that's the case. Uh, this stuff looks fine. Bullet rope. Lovely foreground clouds. Uh, yep. Yeah. Fog, lovely. What is what's that gonna be? I guess you throw it up and there's something. <laughs> yeah, look, this is all fine. It looks really nice as well. They've paid a bit of attention to using lovely colors. Very nice background gradients too. I can appreciate that. Spaghetti code. Thought it was cool, but a few songs were louder than the rest. Mura cheesed a level by collecting an orb. Um, and Will possibly also did the same thing. People saying it's fun and impressive for a first hack, so... Whoops, I didn't read that. Why don't we, why don't we have a try? See if this is good. I'm looking for something good. Sauna Mario World. It's Saturday and Yoshi's sauna seems to be very lacklustre. Mario embarks on a journey to find a proper one. Alright, Yoshi's Sauna. Let's see how lackluster Yoshi's Sauna is. Press and selecting the overworld lets you save at any time. Yoshi's inside the sauna if you'd like to say hello. Come on, Yoshi. This infrared stuff sucks. Is it really a sauna without any... Lurly? Lurly? You can't touch the infrared heaters, I guess. I don't know. Look, here's the thing. I don't know what a sauna... I haven't really been uh, in a sauna that has a... That has a... So I don't know what I'm missing out on, I guess. I've only been to lackluster ones. Walkabout. Yo. All right, be a bit faster there. Uh, loyalty points, or whatever they're looking for. Oh, am I slow? I'm too slow. Alright. There, there. Big bounce, there. Those coins, I don't know how you would line up those coins. They're really far away from where I would want to be. I think I've got to get ahead. I think it helps with the readability a little bit. I can survive in the water, right? Yeah. Alright. Kirby's adventure turns hard out of nowhere. Hmm. I think I played a little bit of the Kirby game on the Wii U, the Rainbow Paintbrush um, game. I didn't play too much of that though. I didn't wasn't really feeling it. All right, there we go. Oh. 
Oh. Why I'm not doing that right, am I? Oh, I'm supposed to land on that guy. Oh, I didn't have to last time. I was wondering what it was for. So I think I do that. Alright, the second half made a bit more sense, I think. Yeah, that's fine. It's a cool level, I guess. It's nice to play stuff that's readable and you just go to the right. Into the wild. Thank you for the GG's as well. Nice looking game. What's the piranha plant? Uh, it's fine. It's just an obstacle, I guess. I can't say anything. I like to have extra enemies that aren't really, uh, that don't do much. Okay, so the nets kill you. All right. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Alright, two bounces on the second one. One, two, there, jump. Seems fine. Oh no. I hit the muncher. Terrible. Kind of light. That's fine. Right. That was probably close to close to good. <laughs> well, you do that, but then oh, okay. No, you got to scroll the screen over. So you get the uh, the spiny egg to drop. All right, that's why that's there. Good setup, honestly. Oh. All right, I'll try hit two next time. There are no secret eggs in this hack. Some pipes have portraits for you to find, though. Not that one. Alright. Alright, fuzzy fellows. Oh, I hope there's some fuzzy fellows to meet in this level. In this level. Jump. Alright. I wonder if that pipe there is a secret. Don't care. Um, alright. Yeah, maybe I care. You can go down. Fine. Slopcore. Slopcore played through this hack twice on stream before release. He suffered so everyone else could suffer less. Thank you, Slop. We love you. Nice curved pipe there, by the way. what you do.
One, two. One, two. The coins tell you what to do. Alright, nice. Very good. What is that? That's a, a fuzzy that you can normal jump on, I'm guessing? It's not. Okay. Damn. It ain't. <laughs> I guess you can spin jump on them though. They're just fast fuzzies, I guess. One, two, three. I think that's that's what they want you to do there. Nothing wrong with them. I'm just not used to the graphic. Make sure to spin. The blue coins are the universal sign in Kaizo for spin. One, two, three. It's not like the last time. All right. I see. See, I was thinking it was like this thing, but it's a, it's a yellow coin instead. in this part. Why does it take you back? Oh. Like what if the fuzzy spawned directly on the pipe? <laughs> uh, asphodel. Nice verb. <laughs> Thank you. I made it myself. By that I mean I used an off-the-shelf plugin and adjusted a well, multiple plugins and adjusted their settings to suit my needs. Do I need the It's like there's a sprite solid. I imagine that's what that is. I don't know if I need to keep the shell, or if it's just going to do what it does. Let's see. That seems good. How generous. Two bounces, maybe. I don't know what to do. So this is a perfectly good um, skull raft level good underground level. I've tried using bats. I don't understand bats well. Should put some more time into understanding bats. One, two. Whoa! Bro! There we go. Oh, swinging! You don't uh, see that very often. That's maybe one of the examples of chocolate in this ROM hack. Oh, vertical section. All right. Hopefully this works really well. The... Oh, no, actually, the bat is good. And the, that bat's also good. Okay, get out to the left on it. Good job. Let's pay more attention. You know, like after you play a section a couple of times, you, I mean for me anyway, really zone out. Nice 
stop reading the level. That's what the bat's for. So oh, no, semi-solid bridges. Yikes, dude. Saint Maker. Upper deck. There we go. It's a fine level. This is a cool game. Nice overworld too. Suspirium. And yeah, the unknown uh, is a Jordan special. Jordan author of uh, Orcus but there's only five left and it has 42 in total it's been a while since I've played that one okay so lovely indicator be faster okay spin spin go fast and Uh, <laughs> Alright, use all three. I'm not sure. I really wasn't sure how difficult this hack was. There was a couple of people um, that said that they enjoyed it when I started stream today. So that's a good sign. I think I've missed a lot of stuff. I haven't been playing too many ROM hacks lately. I've just been stuck on certain ROM hacks for a long period of time in the door. Uh-huh. wonder what that is. Do you think it's a mushroom? Can we get one mushroom? <laughs> oh, right. This, so far, this is a fun hack. I think maybe some of the early levels had some some big jumps into, like some big faith jumps into the nothingness. Um, but it's been good. All right, we just go here. Oh, in the door. That's a cool idea to actually have whatever you call those things. <laughs> the reflecting boo friends. It's nice to have those chase you through a section. I don't think I've seen them be... Uh, people usually constrain them into like a smaller section. The penguin. Uh, did I... I didn't do that right, did, did I? One, two, three, low bounce. Uh, okay. A wombat. <laughs> Wombats are, are pudgy, cute little fellas until they get the claws out. I don't want to deal with a vicious wombat. Alright, so I've got to hit the on-off switch and then go back to the bean, I would say. Yours is a cheater. Why? Oh! You know, I feel like there's a lot of sections in this level. Is this the fourth section already? I'm glad there's checkpoints, but I feel like there's a lot of sections. Alright. Just go straight away. The mystery of the door. Let's, uh, let's imagine that it's a P switch and it will reveal uh, a temporary question block that we can use to enter the door. That's what, that's what my money's on. Nope, okay. And so I, I thank you for, for everything. Yeah, the, the blue coin there means to spin. 
Oh, I missed the door because I'm bad. Okay. to spin, spin, spawn this guy early so I can get back on and get in the door. There we go. Ghost house. Quite a long one. You've watched enough to know that cheaters don't play around. No, they don't. They don't play by the rules, those cheaters. Am I right? Now, remember, no secret exits in this game. Uh, fiery fortress. Any, any key jumpers? I'm not one of them. Just in case you were thinking I was a key guy. But... <laughs> Let me just... You've got to practice. I need to practice key jumps every day. So today, this is my uh, chance to practice key jumps. Well, too bad. Well... So sad. What would I have gained by doing that? Nothing. So we've learned about chains. Yeah, there was no reason to key jump, probably. TJ, look, TJB is very good at a lot of things. Key jumps uh, being among some of the more difficult tricks you can do. But I've, uh, I'm not, I've done some key jump stuff. I've done some feats of amazing key jumping, but it usually takes me a very long time. There, there, go back. And okay, now I see. Have a great sleep and um, I'll try my best to, to have a good stream, courtesy of you. And good night. Um, excellent progress in the unknown as well. Jump, go in the door. Got it. Oh, the, <laughs> the checkpoint. You have to actually touch the checkpoint. Alright, sideways thwomp. Interesting idea. down up in the door another checkpoint let's go boss time what is this uh what have we got going on here it's like a sideways uh homing thwomp oh it's it's got the moves it's got the moves Pretty easy. Best kind of boss. Love to see that. Big old G's. I'm an egg. <laughs> P Naha. Naha. Thank you for making this. You totally destroyed the fortress in your way and vanquished Big Boo. Still no sauna in sight, maybe across the bridge? <laughs> I'm having a great time with this. This is the kind of, this is what I was looking to play, I think. Something along the lines of this. Banging blocks. Mario 3!
Well, my decisions led me here. Yeah, can I... Does that land on the death block or does that land in my little hidey hole where I said I was going to stay forever? It lands up there. All right. Uh huh. Yep. Spin. Oh. Okay. Let me let me just play around with spin for a sec. Okay. You get a low bounce when you spin on them. So I have noticed this is one of those hacks where I've made good use of layer three. Uh huh. Normal jumps. I'm imagining. Ah, uh, that was bad. I did, wasn't supposed to do that. I like them because they remind me of Mario 3, which I remember having a good time with as a youngster. Uh, one, two, three. Oh my god, I didn't think I was going to make that. So what am I... I gotta do that, and then I need to do that, and then how the hell do I get up here? Uh, can I just make that, I guess? Oh, oh I'm an idiot. I'm so dumb. It's funny you came back to this convo. Yeah, I'm sorry that work had to sidetrack you for so long. Now you can get back to tackling the real work. There, there, there. Or the thing, be on this side. Then I can do a big jump. And just hold right. Okay. We have collected a checkpoint and we are now currently in Auto Scroller Town. Which is is at a speed that exists. Ooh! This is fine. up here. I've got to go back to the left. So I'd have to go like that. Like, okay. Alright, I understand. I think... I wish I was able to catch Slopcore more... F like, I used to be able to catch him. It's quite early in the morning. Um, his streams. I used to be able to catch him a bit more a long time ago. But um, his hack, Dancer to a Discordant System, is one of the first hacks I've played on stream. Mm. Help! Help. Oh. Ooh, just in time. First try, yeah, first try. You heard it here first. <laughs> uh, d thanks for the GGs. Hello, Dina. Justin who? Justin time. Dolphin drain. Oh. Alright, cool. I like this background. I don't know what it's from. It looks cool, though. I know it. I know that it's not from Mortal Kombat, but it reminds me of the fight when you're in Mortal Kombat One, where you fight Goro and Shang Tsung. That kind of dungeon background. Once again, I know it's not from that. Makes me think about that though. All right, two bounces. Uh, wait, that's not the two bounce, is it? No, this one. This is where we bounce a couple of times. Fish. Dolphin, all right. My YouTube that taught you a lot on how to beat them. Thank you for the promotion, the opportunity to promote the YouTube channel. 
Uh, Grand Prix World 1 I played recently, and that is the current thing that's on the YouTube. Well, that's uh, the, fin the finale of that premiered last night. The video that we're premiering tonight is Mura World 2 by Mura, weirdly enough. Um, oh. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> there it is. Alright. That's from a Shantae game. Okay. I think I own one of those on Steam for some reason. I've never played it. It was one of those ones that came in a, a bundle, like most people's Steam libraries. It's full of stuff like that. One, two, spin. I love, I love the coins. I'm a big, oh my god, I'm a big coin fan. But yeah, I've, I heard the same thing. Oh my god, a double up pipe. There was some bad weather in his area, and he might have, uh, he might have stopped on the, on the last level, or the post game level, I guess, because there weren't enough checkpoints. And by that I mean there are no checkpoints. That's uh, some sort of motor skills thing. It was a little bit whack. <laughs> so it's a hack that exists. In case you want to check it out. No shade against desert. But he's got some interesting uh, uh, sensibilities. There we go. Very cool. <laughs> a dinosaur grotto. Let's keep playing. I figured it was going to be one of those platforms. Who's in the pipe? It's Bob. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I need to see the message box. I can't believe I got five walled. <laughs> I thought I'd done my time with Grand Poo World. Okay. The layer 2 was meant to be as fast as in Grand Prix World 2 Bowser fight. I tried my best. Here's the result. Yeah, it's, it, was a, yeah, it was pretty close. It was a good try. Back to the drawing board. <laughs> uh, it's fine. Alright. Okay. Oh, and then, okay. Yep, I, I get it. <laughs> it's, uh, it's pale in comparison to the console master race of platforming at the time. And let's not forget the cool bonus stages. Um, we do have rabbits in Australia, and historically they've been a menace to our wildlife. To the point where there were fences built <laughs> to keep them out. Mm -hmm. Well, that that reads. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. <clears throat> but I don't know what it is. Is that what you do? That probably is what you do, actually. Oh my god. Okay, that's, that's all you do. One, two... Okay, that's a back and forth. One, two, go in the pipe, please. No, nope. damn it. Um, yeah, I'm kind of stuck, hey? All right. Let's 
some people just use it as a static graphic and it feels like a waste. I think only like ROM hack nerds care about stuff like that. So don't worry. Okay, there, one, two, going. Thank you. Four layer three being left out. Uh, get that one. Oh. Slop core. Yeah, look, Slop knows about that sort of stuff. <clears throat> Some backgrounds are just designed for that. Um, that kind of, you know, uh, whatever it is, the horizontal interrupt thing. Where you can change the scroll speed of a background. 